Here we have some problems that ask us to find the areas of sectors and segments in circles. So first of all, what's a sector and what's a segment? Well, a sector is like this thing right here, this shaded area. It's, it's kind of a, a piece of pie uh, uh, cut out of a circle. Although you could have half the circle as a sector, you could have three quarters of the circle as a sector, but usually it's more like a, a pie piece here. The, the rule is that you have to cut, um, you know, so that the center here uh, has some kind of central angle that you can measure. In this case, the central angle you can see is 60 degrees. The way to figure out the area of this sector is to take the fraction of the circle that it is and multiply that by the area of the circle. Area of the circle here is no problem. We see our radius is 6 centimeters. So the area of this circle would be pi times the radius squared, so pi times 6 squared. What's the fraction of this circle that's represented by this sector? Well, since the central angle is 60 degrees, and there are 360 degrees in a circle, this is 60 out of 360. And we can multiply that by pi times ra uh, radius squared. 60 over 360 is the same as 1 sixth, and we've got pi times 36. Well, let's see, that actually, 1 sixth of 36 would be 6, so this is 6 pi. And if you want a decimal for that, punch it in your calculator, it's going to equal about 18.55, and this was centimeters, and this is area, so it's centimeters squared. So that is the area of that sector. Next, we have a segment. And a segment uh, is created in a circle when you have a, a triangle formed here. It's, it's almost like you're cutting out a, a sector, but then you connect the two points where the uh, sector edges meet the circle. And then what's left here, this little kind of nipped off area here at the top, that's a segment. Well, how are we going to figure out the area of that? Luckily, we already know how to figure out the area of this sector, right? And the segment is just the area of the sector minus the area of this triangle. And we have some methods for figuring out areas of triangles. So the area of a segment is the area of the sector minus the area of the triangle. So let's give that a, a shot on this one. You'll notice the answer choices here, and they're not going to make us punch out decimal answers here. So let's first of all figure out the area of the sector. We know how to do that. We take the central angle and put it over 360 and multiply that by the formula for the area of the whole circle. The radius is 12 here, so this would be pi times 12 squared. And that equals 1 sixth times, well, let's see, 144, oops, 1 sixth, not 1 sixteenth, 144 pi. And 1 6 of 144, that is 24 pi. Okay, that's looking good so far. I'm seeing 24 pi in some of our answers here. Now, how do we figure out the area of this triangle? Well, the area of a triangle is 1 half the base times the height. So the area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. In this triangle, we've got one angle of 60 degrees and one side of 12, and we've got to figure out everything else. However, we do know that this side of the triangle is a radius, and so is this side. So if this side is 12, this side's going to be 12. So we've got an isosceles triangle here for sure, and I notice actually, since this, this degree up here is 60, and with an isosceles triangle, the other two angles here are going to be equal to each other, I would subtract 60 from 180 and split what's left. You get 60 and 60. So this is not an isosceles triangle. It's an equilateral triangle. 60, 60, 60 in the degrees means all the sides are going to be the same too. So let me just draw a picture of that triangle down here, flip it upside down. I've got 12, 12, and 12. And I want to find the height. So I'm going to drop a perpendicular here, a perpendicular bisector. It's going to split this side into 6 and 6. It's also going to make this a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Here's our 90 degree. I know this angle is 60. This must be 30 here. Makes sense because we split a 60 degree angle in half. What I want to find is this side of the triangle. And a 30, 60, 90 triangle, the sides are in the ratio of 1, 2, 
and square root of 3 for this one down here. And I've got a 6 and a 12. So what I'm doing when I have 1 and 2 ratios, I'm multiplying by 6. 1 times 6 is 6, 2 times 6 is 12. So square root of 3 times 6 would be the size of this side. So we'll call that 6 times the square root of 3. Now, if you're unfamiliar or if you forgot about your 30, 60, 90 triangle rules, you could figure this out with the Pythagorean theorem too. You could just say 6 squared plus b squared equals 12 squared, and you would get 6 times the square root of 3, hopefully. All right, this is our height. Our base of our triangle, of our uh, equilateral triangle, is 12, so we are ready to plug these things in here. So this equals 1 half times the base, which is 12, times the height, which is 6 times the square root of 3. 1 half of 12 is 6 times 6 is 36. So this comes out to be 36 times the square root of 3. So our answer then is the area of the sector minus the area of the triangle. The area of the sector was 24 pi, so there's 24 pi. Area of the triangle is 36 times the square root of 3, so 24 pi minus 36 times the square root of 3. We don't have to figure out the decimal on that. We've got our answer right here. All right, a little bit of work, but it's not impossible. Let's try one more problem. All right, we've got no picture here, so we're going to have to draw our own. It says, in a circle of radius 7 centimeters, so let's go ahead and do that. Find the area of a segment bounded by an arc of measure 120 degrees and the cord joining the endpoints of the arc. Okay, so that's um, maybe a little bit confusing. A segment, remember, is going to be that kind of nipped off piece of a circle. We know we've got a 120 degree arc, so we're going to have a central angle of 120 degrees. So let me draw something that sort of looks like that. There's 120 degrees. So here's our arc. The segment is formed when you connect the endpoints of those two radii. So our segment is this area there. Now to figure out what that is, it's going to be the area of the sector minus the area of the triangle. So let's work on the area of the sector first. The sector is 120 degrees out of 360 degrees, so that's the fraction of the circle that's taken up by the sector, multiplied by the area of the triangle. And remember, our radius here is 7, so it's pi times 7 squared. So what we have here, 120 on, uh, over 360, that's 1 third, times 49 pi, and we'll ju we're just going to call that 49 thirds pi. And actually, in this case, we don't have to put it in terms of pi. We might as well go ahead and um, just figure out the decimal equivalence of things here. So we'll call this, if you punch that into your calculator, I think you'll get 51.31. And we're in centimeters. And this is area, so it's centimeters squared. Okay, so that's the area of our sector. Now let's work on this triangle, which is a little bit trickier. So here's our triangle, and remember that angle in here was 120 degrees. I'm just going to pull that triangle out and make it bigger and flip it down like this so we can uh, work with it a little more easily. So this is 120 degrees, and one of those sides was 7. But the other side, well, that one side was a radius. The other side's a radius, too, so we know this is 7 as well. So we've got an isosceles triangle. These are the same lengths which means whatever is left for the degrees after we have our 120, we're going to split evenly between these two angles. 180 minus 120 is 60, so that's 30 degrees here and 30 degrees here. So we've got our triangle mostly sorted. What we need is a base and a height to put it into the uh, area formula, and we have neither of those. Uh, we can drop a perpendicular, and maybe we can figure out what this is. This would be the height, this dashed line. But we don't have a base yet either. Well, don't worry. We've got this covered because once we drop this, uh, this perpendicular, we've got a 90 degree angle, a 30 degree angle, we've got a 30, 60, 90 triangle again. And since the, those triangles always have that same ratio of 1, 2, and square root of 3 on the sides, we can figure out the base and the altitude 
just from having one side here. In this case, the side that's in the ratio of 2 is 7. So I think to make this less confusing uh, to me, I'm going to set it up as a proportion. I'm going to say 2 is to 7, the regular proportion up here and the actual size down here, is, and I'll go for the uh, height here first, is, uh, one, as, is as 1 is to what we're looking for. So the one side, we're going to find out what its height is. We cross multiply, we get 2x equals 7, divide uh, both sides by 2, we get x equals 3.5. So our height is 3.5. Okay, good. We're part way there. Now I want to find the length of the base of this triangle. So first I'm going to find just this side, and then I'll multiply that by 2. This is the square root of 3 side. And let's just set up another proportion. So I'm going to say 2 is to 7 as the square root of 3 side is to what we're looking for. And again, I get cross multiply. I get 2x equals 7 times the square root of 3. And so dividing by 2, I would get x equals 3.5 times the square root of 3. That is 1 uh, half of this total base of our triangle. So I multiply that by 2. I could have done that to begin with here. And I get 7 times the square root of 3 is our base. Whew. Okay, we've got our height and our base. Now we can figure out the area of this triangle. So the area equals 1 half times the height, or times the base, 7 times the square root of 3, times the height, which is 3.5. And if you punch that all in your calculator, I think you're going to get 21.21 or something roughly like that. So that's the area of our triangle. Now remember, the area of the segment is the area of the sector minus the area of the triangle. The area of the sector was 51.31. And we're going to subtract the area of the triangle, which is 21.21. And what we should get is 30.1. And now this is an area, and we were in centimeters, so that's 30.1 centimeters squared. So that's a little bit of work with sectors and segments in circles. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at EdVisions off-campus. It's an online project-based school. If you're in Minnesota and looking for something like that, and you're in the 7th through 12th grade, give us a, che a check at Love This school.org. Thanks.